I know some of you are a little shocked by the readings today. Uh, those are the readings for the RCIA for the scrutinies. We have someone who's going to be going through the scrutinies after the homily uh, on the process of walking towards the Easter sacraments, baptism, confirmation, first Holy Communion. And so we read these readings as an opportunity to really pray through this incredible gift that God is taking us from blindness to sight from the darkness in our lives to the light that he wants to bestow upon us. This incredible gift of Almighty God. We heard in, in the uh, gospel, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And of course, we know through this whole story, Jesus is saying, just because something's gone wrong doesn't mean that it's because of this person's direct sin or their parents. But I was pondering and praying over this and saying, How often do we allow our sin, our brokenness, our woundedness to be our identity, to form our destiny? That that we say, this is who I am. We allow that sin or that brokenness or that woundedness to speak to our hearts and say, You are less than. You are not good enough. Is this how we identify ourselves? That we identify ourselves with the darkness in our lives. And I I imagine this man must have felt this his whole life. If If these people were asking Jesus about this man right now, he must have heard it his whole life. And certainly we hear it later in the gospel, right? You were born in sin and you're trying to teach us? How must that have wounded his soul over so many years, dragged him down? How much that must drag us down? But Jesus says, while I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. And he brings his light to shine into our darkness and says, that is not your identity. St. John Paul II said on World Youth Day, he said, you are not the sum of your sin, your failure, your brokenness. You are the sum of the Father's love for you. If we had done the Year B readings, as we will tomorrow, so if you want to come back tomorrow, you can hear them for the 8 or the 1030 Mass. Just make sure you change your clocks so you get there on time. If you were to hear tomorrow's gospel for the year B, you would hear, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Uh oh, he's going for his, ha- his guitar. Uh oh. God so loved the world. Do we have any idea? of how loved we are and what this means. This is our identity. Our identity isn't in our sin. Our identity isn't in our brokenness. Our identity is in God's love for us. Oh, the other And we forget this, right? We forget who we are. We forget the love that God has for us and we cling to what? The lies. The lies that I am the sum of my sinfulness, my brokenness. And God says, I want to shine my light into that darkness. 
I want to shine my love so that you may know who you are, that you are worth every drop of my blood. Right? That he came and died on the cross so that we could have eternal life. Lovers don't ask what's the least I can do, but they ask what's the most I can do. Jesus didn't shed one drop of blood which would have been enough to save us all. He gave every drop of blood so that we could live forever with him and we could see we are worth that love. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the ninety-nine. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away And oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God Shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down. Coming after me No shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me No wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me No shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me and so the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away And all the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God You know, the incredible thing is When we know how loved we are We're not afraid We're not afraid to look at our sin We're not afraid to look at our failures Because... They don't identify us anymore. They're only there in the parts of our lives where God can come and heal and transform. When we know how loved we are, when we remember that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who gave every drop of his blood so that we might have life, then we can look in on ourselves and see the incredible love and forgiveness that God wants to give to us. We're not afraid to go to confession and receive His mercy and His love in those moments. We're not afraid to say, well, no, this couldn't possibly be a sin because that would mean I'm a terrible person. No, because we can say, I am loved by God. And you know, there's no shadow He won't light up. There's no mountain He won't climb up to come after me. May we continue to seek our God, seek that love that he has, and the truth of who he made us to be, his beloved daughters, his beloved sons, precious to him, known by him, who he died, giving every drop of his blood for.